Okay. <clears throat> Uh, April 24th, 6.53. Uh, I'm back from a more uh, comprehensive chronography of, uh, chronography of my uh, uh, recently bought and modified uh, pellet. Uh, there I did the chronography. Shovel is there. Mm, cell phone here. And muzzle here. 18 yards using Chrono uh, Connect app. And these are the results. I did a total of um, 23 shots. As you can see here, very beautifully, I might add, we've got an average speed of 868 feet uh, per second, which would translate with that, uh, with uh, my 18-grain uh, pellet, into roughly about 40.9 joules of energy, which is 10 joules higher than the factory uh, energy of uh, this rifle. I'm pretty uh, content with this uh, right now. The spread, though, is n not nearly as good as that of uh, my previous gun, Diana Magnum 460. I had a stand standard deviation of uh, 2 rather than the current 15 that we have with this rifle. And, and a standard deviation in po power uh, in joules of 0.2 rather than 1.4 that I have with this rifle. But I'm very, very happy with the rifle. The way it shoulders, the whole rifle thing, the look that looks quite like, a, you know, real gun with real bullets and everything, like a, I don't know, uh, 270 Winchester, you know, uh, gun. Uh, I'm very, very happy with it. I mean, I used to have a Diana Magnum 460, for God's sake, which is a very, very fine piece of, you know, uh, art, in fact. But this one far outweighs that one. I mean, everybody should have one of these. It's, it's, it's just amazing, unbelievable to me. It's, it's, it's a dream come true. I cannot tell you how happy I am with this rifle. Um, so I've got 40 joules of energy around 868 uh, feet per second. I'm going to chronograph the rifle more, uh, you know, carefully, more precisely later on. But for the time being, I'm going to have to put this data into Cherry Gun Pro <clears throat> as well as Estrelock and see how the uh, ballistics data uh, turns out. I'm amazed. I'm just amazed with this gun. It's just unbelievable.